Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and today is all about how to correct your students in class. Now I'm specifically talking about teaching English online classes. So if you're in the process of finding a great company, I love VIP Kid and Palfish. I think they're both really great companies. But if you don't want to teach for any of those, I have a guide that you can check out in the description that gives you a ton of different companies and a referral for each company so they can help you through the process. So definitely check that out and download that guide and find the company that works for you. And there are way more companies that are on that guide. So if you don't even like any of those, which I feel like you'll find your fit on there, but if you don't like any of those, do a couple quick Google searches find you one that works for you. But like I said, today's episode in the series I call How to Teach English Online, we are talking about how to correct your students when they pronounce something wrong, say something incorrectly, um, and what not to do. So, what not to do is say No, that was wrong. Eh. Or eh. That sucked. Do better. Anything along those lines where you're saying no, and that's not the word that they're trying to practice, um, stop what you're doing, because you're, stop, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> you want to use positive corrections, not negative corrections, okay? When you say no, or that was wrong, or that sucked, <laughs> which I don't know why you would ever say that to a student or anyone, but if you ever say that, you're going to hurt the little kid's feelings, okay? They're very sensitive, right? They're talking to a stranger. They're learning a language that they don't know very well, and they're just doing their best, okay? They're trying their hardest. They just had a whole day of school. So even though you're probably waking up at 4 a.m., it's probably 6 p.m. in China. Because most of these companies, you're going to be teaching Chinese students. I wonder if one day they'll expand it, but at the moment, it's pretty much just Chinese students. So they've already had a full day of school. They've probably already eaten dinner, and now they have to learn English. So they're tired, they're doing their best, okay? So instead of saying no or that was wrong, I like to circle or underline what they said incorrectly, have them repeat it. So say they mispronounce the, then I would say, I would probably circle it and I would say the, and have them say it, the, have them say it again. And if they keep saying it wrong, I try to, you know, model and show them with my mouth what I'm trying to say to help them understand it better. Now that's for like vocabulary when they're reading and stuff. That's typically what I'll do. Then I'll have them just, you know, repeat it till it's beautiful. Now, do I correct every single little thing that I hear that is not perfect English? No. <laughs> they are six. They are learning. There's going to be some mistakes here or there. For the most part, I try to just hit what you know, absolutely not right at all. <laughs> like if they say, the rabbit eat carrots. I say, the rabbit eats carrots. Eats. <laughs> so they really hear that tss. And if, again, if it's on the screen, I'll circle or underline it so they can see what I'm talking about. Um, and then I just continue to have them repeat it. Now, if it's a question, so say it's a true or false question, and it's like, is China in Asia? and they say false, then instead of saying, no, that's wrong, and scaring them to death, always go, hmm, are you sure? Is China not in Asia? And then eventually they're like, oh, true? And I'm like, yes, very good. China is in Asia. And it helps them realize that, oh, that's not, you know, that's not right, it's not correct, um, but in a more fun way. I actually have a student that whenever I'm like, hmm, hmm, he also does it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I know he's mocking me, but it's fine. <laughs> it cracks me up. That's what I do there. A lot of repetition, a lot of modeling and showing, um, and again, circling on the page and just asking them again, very confused if it's not right. It's a lot of, is a monkey an animal? No? Hmm. Then they'll say yes, and you're like, oh, yes! Very good. Again, you want to give them lots of positivity, lots of yays, congrats. Remember, these are typically really itty bitty kids. They're very new to this language. Um, even if they've been doing it for a few years, it's still, it's difficult to learn a whole different language that is in a whole different alphabet <laughs> from what they're used to seeing. So lots of positivity, lots of great jobs. High fives! Pew, 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 pew. They love high fives. They love high fives. And I, I realize that whenever I, you know, I always do this, they love that. Um, and they always go. Pew. I don't know if that's from a TV or show or something, but 
a lot of them do that. And I'm like, I know not all of y'all are friends. Where does that come from? I don't know. Remember to always be praising the student, always giving yeses, woohoos, yays, stars, awards, all the fun stuff. I have videos on awards and you know what to do there. So definitely check out those videos. Subscribe so you don't miss more teaching tips. I have a whole series on how to teach ESL online and don't forget to grab your guide below. Okay, so anyway, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I feel like I always say subscribe weird when I'm talking fast. Subscribe. Subscribe. Just subscribe. Thanks. <laughs> okay, bye.